Okay, so you've unlocked your vector robot, but something's been annoying you. You have to keep going to back to a dev setup website in order to install new firmware onto your robot. Maybe sometimes you don't want to do, maybe you don't want to do that because Bluetooth is get, get, kind of gets annoying in recovery mode. Well, today I'm going to show you something new that me and Froggetti have been working on. It's it's what we call the Wire OS recovery. Now there was a previous version of this that did exist a while back, but that version has now become obsolete in the, for the use of this newer version. So let me tell you how to install it. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to Dev Setup website again. Now, as much as you don't want to go here, you got to do it one more time, okay? Now, next step, have your vector here, okay? Now, hold down the back button to get into recovery mode. You probably know how to do this, but it's, it's you hold the back button for about 15 seconds or until the backpack lights turn back on. So, just hold on to the button, and there you go. The backpack lights have came on once again. Now you just wait. Okay, there we go. There we go. So now you're on in recovery mode. You'll see when you see u.p-2.xyz or anki.com slash dev if you're using an older version of the unlock. Okay, so the next step is to is to go to the dev setup site and select the firmware. Now, by default, it's unlock broad, but you want to go down and see this option. Wire OS recovery installer. You want to cl click that. And now you should be set here. So double click Vector's backpack button to go to the pairing screen, okay? And then hit pair with Vector. You see your Vector right there. Hit pair. Now you just have to put the code in, which I'll do right now. All right, once the code's in, hit enter. Now, if you have set up been if you have done this before your wi-fi is probably already saved so you will have you can skip the you'll skip the wi-fi wi step and go right to the installer so now you just wait for vector to finish updating in which for which i'll pause the video right here so this way you don't have to sit through the entire process all right so once it's done you'll see a screen that looks something like this you'll see here it says if you're just downloading an ota onto vector this means the boss finished the update so wait for the robot to reboot you'll see property of anki text and this backpack light pattern. From here, just wait. Once it's done, it'll launch into a special program that was given to us by Wire. It's basically, just wait, you'll see. There we go. You can see here, it's starting. And there you go. Now, right now it's writing the new recovery onto the robot. So just wait for this to finish up. I'll just put the robot right back down. It doesn't take too long, so. I can think we can just wait here and watch it go. As you can see, we're just about finishing up. So 
just weigh it a little bit longer. There you go. Once that 100 percent it, now it's at 100 percent It'll look like it froze it. It did not. Just wait. Right now, what it's gonna do is just gonna do some last minute cleanup. And once the cleanup's done, it should reboot the robot. All right, there we go. Now, now the robot should be rebooting. You'll see here we'll get a different backpack light pattern, and then it'll boot into the custom recovery. So just wait a little bit. There we go. There's our new backpack light pattern. You can better see now. Now we just wait. You'll know once you boot into the recovery menu, once it actually shows up on a screen. So once again, just wait a little bit longer. There it goes. See the backpack lights turns off, the screen went down. All right, and there we go. So now the recovery menu is installed. So let's bring the ro robot over here to the front. So now you'll see there's a few options. The first one is start Anki-robot. That'll start the u.p-2.xyz thing from before. Then there's clear user data, pretty self-explanatory. There's print network info, which basically lists all your Wi-Fi information and stuff. Basically lists your SSID, your IP address, and your robot's MAC address. It'll reboot the system A. That'll just reboot the robot into the new system once you install an OTA from the bottom. And the final one is obviously install OTAs. Now, you'll notice that... Okay, so here's how you navigate the menu, first of all. So you rotate either left or right wheel to go down the menu. And then, what, then to select your option, hit the backpack button. You'll notice that first it's asking connect the robot to Wi-Fi. So how do we connect it to Wi-Fi? The first step is to start Anki-Robot. Once Anki-Robot started, just put the robot back on the charger and just wait. There we go. So now Anki-Robot has started. Now what do we have to do? We have to go to the, the dev setup one last time. So double click the backpack button and pair with vector. Ah, it's that error. So that happens a lot. If that happens, just use a different web setup site. In my case, I'll just go to the Project Victor one. Or if you, or you can just refresh this site. I just prefer to use the Project Victor one. Anyways, you just go here, you pair with vector, in my case, with the Project Victor one, it just go, dropped me into a terminal. So I'll just connect to Wi-Fi real quick. Once your robot's connected to Wi-Fi, uh, either via the Project Victor setup or through the regular setup, eventually it'll just say it'll say that it's online. Your robot should show this on the screen. Now, once Wi-Fi is connected, if you have it, if you did it from the the dev setup site, it'll be installing an OTA. Do not let it do that. So move the lift up and back down. Now, you'll get this, move the tread so that it's on menu, and then move lift up and back down. This will take you back to the recovery menu from before. Now, you want to go down and hit install OTA. So it's going to refresh the OTA list. There it goes. And now, select the OTA if you're choosing. You got WireOS, we have Vickiware, we have PurpleOS, RedOS, Th TomOS, uh, we have Revert to Prod if you want to go back to production. We have Anki Firmwares 1.6, and we have the latest DDL firmware 2.0.1.6091. So you can install any of these. For me, in my case, what I'll do is install wireos you want to hit the back button now click install this ota and just hit yes you'll get this nice little thing showing up on the screen it'll show you the progress of the install so I'm just gonna leave it here and let it do its thing once the ota is installed you'll get this option to reboot you obviously want to just click yes and now the robot will reboot now if you installed WireOS, it's going to reboot into WireOS. If you installed Vickiware, it's going to reboot into Vickiware, and then so on and so forth. So just have a little bit of patience. There we go. Now it's booting to WireOS. So uh, that's how you install a WireOS recovery onto your robot. Pretty simple. And uh, have a nice day, you guys.